What's up guys? This is Tashe. Thank you for watching. We are in a very tight clan war yet again. And this is now my recommended targets, their number two. And they have one more attack left by their leader. And I have one more attack left. So this is going to be a showdown for both our last attacks. So I'm going to take on their leader, number two. Um, I think he's probably going to attack as well at now just before the war ends let me quickly show you they've we've actually had Jonathan, Arpi and Anastasia attack a few um, hours ago and they actually managed to get four more stars so it put us clear we were actually tied um, so yeah I'm gonna attack right now and let's see how this pans out I've got a full dragon army with two rage and a heal spell and I've got a dragon and a balloon in my castle and my king is all healed up and ready so yeah let's see I'm a bit nervous because I usually don't do well if I record my live attacks so I assume they their leader is probably gonna try and attack Arpi because then he can get three stars and actually draw it um, but I don't think he will be able to do that because Arpi's base is quite good Right, so let's go for this. So I've been scouting this base and if I just can if I can only get to the tunnel I'll be quite happy. So the trick was for me to take out to clear a path for the dragons to actually go. So I was thinking of um, putting a dragon on this archer tower here at the bottom and then one there as well. Boy, wrong one. Okay, so now I'm gonna drop another one here just to help out with these troops. Now there we go. Okay, so let's drop all of them in. I'm gonna drop a rage round about there somewhere, and one round about here. And then I'm gonna heal them up if they get to the town hall, just so that I can have as many as dragons as possible going for the town hall. And if my if I actually get to the tunnel and I take it out, then oh boy, please take it out. Oh, this is going to be tight. Nope. So now I need to drop my king somewhere where he will definitely go for the town hall. So let's drop him here. Okay, looks like he is going in. Got two minutes left. So these dragons, I don't think they're going to make it to the town hall. So. Hopefully my king will actually get in there and finish it off for me to get the two star. I'm just going to wait till he gets a little bit closer because I don't want to use his rage now. But luckily he doesn't have that much um, defenses. Okay, I'm going to rage him up here. Just so that the barbarians don't die going for. Alright, hopefully this will give us the two star. Come on boys, you can do it. And oh, come on, don't go for the oh my word, that is so close. He almost went for the skeletons instead. Oh boy, that is a clutch down hall right there. Sure, so at least I managed to put it out of reach if they even get a three star. So let's see what happened at the war. That is quite nice loot, and we have actually won 24. 20. So they didn't attack. Let's have a quick look here. Enemy clan. Okay, so their leader actually, I think he decided not to attack, seeing that he's going to only waste lots of elixir probably. So yeah, this was yet again a very, very close clan war. That second star put us four stars ahead. So let's quickly go to the war stats. As you can see, we've used up all our attacks. And let's have a look quickly most heroic attack I think is okay it's actually me but it used it was Anastasia before this and the most heroic defense on our side was Shireen but now obviously caveman uh, he actually defended quite well he soaked up four four attacks as you can see there he won one of his four but he actually had four people try and attack him and only the second guy managed to actually two-star him or the fourth guy managed to two-star him. My base also held up quite nicely. I've won two out of three defenses. 
Um, but yeah, guys, so this is our latest wall. I'm very proud of everyone, they did really well. Let me quickly show you just our wall log and then I'll be done. That's actually a nice sight once you open your wall log and you have so many wins in a row. But I think that is where it starts. So there we go. We have this is now, I think, the fifth win of this year. Yeah, 58 days ago. One, two, three, four, three. Five wins this year in a row and then seven all together together now. But yes, so uh, if it wasn't for the clan, we wouldn't have made this war because everyone contributed so nicely. So anyway guys, there it is. We have another clan win and this is very nice loot bonus for me. 3000 Dark Elixir. Um, I'm definitely going to spend that on upgrading my golems to level 2. But thanks for watching guys and thanks to my clan. You guys are the best. Cheers.